In today's video, I'm going to answer a question I get a lot, and that's, can you host a course in Squarespace? The answer to this question and more in today's video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Louise of solopreneursidekick.com. I put out new videos every single week all about making the tech in your online business easier. So if that is something you could use some help with, definitely hit subscribe and stick around. Okay, so the answer to this question is yes, yes you can. So it did take me a bit of work to figure out the best way to do this, but I'm really happy with the method that I came up with. So it does require that we piece together a few different softwares. For example, this method uses Vimeo to embed your course lessons, ConvertKit to send your follow-up emails to students, a sidebar plugin to create your table of contents and some custom code. So it wasn't the easiest thing to set up. So that's why I created a brand new mini course all about how to set this up that you get totally free when you join Website That Wows. So I'll leave a link for that down below and you can get started with a free trial. So basically it is a little bit tricky and you need to follow the step-by-step -step instructions with any code, don't worry, it's going to just be copy and paste into the correct areas. So I've made it as easy as I can. And then once it's set up, you're good to go and it's very easy to manage and add all of your lesson materials. So why is it good to host your course in Squarespace? There's a few reasons. The first being that once you learn Squarespace, you already know how to work with it and you don't need to learn another software. The second reason is that it will match your branding of your website and it is the most customizable option that I've found in terms of constructing your course area and your course lessons. And finally, you get to keep everything in one spot, which I know a ton of my students love. So I would say this is a really nice and simple option and it's really affordable as well. But there are a few things that you need to know Number one, everyone is going to have the same password. So this might be a deal breaker for you if you want all of your students to have their own independent login, then you're going to need to use another system. But if you're happy with everyone having the same login page and password, this will work great for you. I feel like with either option, somebody could share their password. So I don't think it's the biggest issue and you could just change the password every few months. I think it would be a bigger problem if you do a lot of payment plans and if people are defaulting those and then every time you want to revoke access for the course, you need to change the password for everyone. So that might be an issue there. So another thing is that you can't auto drip the material. So you could release it on specific dates, but if you wanted to be releasing the material automatically, you know, let's say separated day by day based upon when a subscriber purchases the course, that is not something that is easily done in this method. Though you might be able to figure out a workaround. Another thing that you need to know is that it does not include an affiliate system built in. So you would need to use an external system for that. And it doesn't have a quizzes feature built in. However, I'm sure you could use a third party tool for that, or you could make use of Squarespace forms. Overall, I think this is a great, simple option. You could always start out with this one and upgrade to a more complicated software as you enroll more and more students. So let me show you an example of what the pages could look like. Again, this is just an example and you can totally customize all of these pages for your own brand. Okay, so here's an example of the product page. And then when you click on this button here, you will be led to the checkout page. So really nice and clean and a simple three-step process for your customers. Then after you've placed that order, you'll be led to a order confirmation page. This, of course, you can customize completely for your own brand. And then this is the course login page. 
And once you log in, you'll be led to the course area. And here you can customize this entire top section, what blocks you include, and this is how your lessons will display. When you click in on one of these lessons, you'll be led to the lesson area. So you have a table of contents of all of your lessons, your video, text, any downloads, a comments functionality, and a button to go to the next lesson. So you might be wondering what are the costs involved with this method? The first tool is Vimeo. Now there is a free plan, but you might want to upgrade to the plus, which is around $10 a month. And this one is going to give you more player customization options and privacy controls. So the next tool is ConvertKit. I think it's a phenomenal tool and there's so much advanced stuff that you can do with it while still being easy to use. And this tool is just $29 per month for your first 1000 subscribers. And this is one of those tools that you might be using already. I use it even though I use Teachable for my course at the moment. So it's kind of one of those tools that either way you're going to use, but I'm listing it here in the pricing anyways. The next tool is the sidebar plugin by SQSP themes. This is a one-time purchase of $50 and this allows you to create a table of contents next to all of your lesson pages. And finally, you need to be on the Squarespace advanced plan for this method to work. So that is 40 to $46 per month, depending on whether you pay monthly or annually. As well, with this plan, you get unlimited courses, 0% transaction fees, subscription payments, discounts, and more. So definitely check out the Squarespace pricing for a full list of all of the features you get. So that's my method for hosting an online course in Squarespace. The next question I get all the time is Squarespace versus Teachable. So make sure that you hit subscribe because that is the video I'm going to release next week to help you make the right decision for your business. So stay tuned for that video. And remember, I've created an entire mini course that takes you through every single step that you need to know of this method. And you gain access to that for free when you join Website That Wows. So click the link in the description to sign up for a free trial of that. And I'll see you guys soon with another video.